What is up, crazy fam? Guys, listen up. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the current state and the future of Destiny 2. We're going to actually take a look at the numbers and you're going to be able to see for yourself if Destiny 2 is dying or is it even already dead or whatever, because nowadays gamers really do throw around the term dead game very easily. Now, for all the people that don't know, I stream here on YouTube and on Twitch. Actually, I just started streaming on Twitch. We play a lot of Trials of Osiris. I help my viewers get flawless in Trials. We also play other PvP games. Currently, I'm also in top 500 in the finals. I'm actually waiting for Throne and Liberty right now and some other cool MMOs that are upcoming this year. So yeah, I would love to see every single one of you guys live on stream. If you do enjoy this video and only if you do, slap the like button and subscribe to the channel as it truly does help me out a lot. In order to see if the game is doing poorly or not, you gotta have something to compare to, right? And Destiny 2 is very unique in this situation because back in the day when it first came out, people were very excited about the game game and they started playing the game and we all quickly realized wait a minute there's pretty much no content so it fell off pretty badly now if you have played destiny 2 and i ask you what do you think was the worst time for d2 your mind straight up goes to curse of osiris that was one of the dlcs of destiny 2 when it first came out and man when i'm telling you that thing was just not good it was not good okay and i'm and i'm being nice over here it was just horrible overall in terms of the amount of content that it brought so if we really take a look at the numbers during those times we will see that the population of the game had dropped severely we're talking 81 percent of its overall population was pretty much gone it went from 194 thousand players to 35,000 players, almost 36,000 players, okay? Which was a total of 81.55% of drop in population. Now, all of these numbers come from PC, from Steam charts and all the good stuff like that. We don't have the console numbers. Yes, there are some sources that will tell you the numbers approximately, but they're not as precise as the Steam charts. We know that during that time, which was one of the biggest falloffs Destiny 2 has ever had in its history, we dropped below 36,000 players. We want to discuss what's happening now, right? Is it really worse now than it was back then? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Destiny 2, which currently sits at 34,794. Technically, this is very low. Actually, this is lower than if we take a look at the numbers that we had back in the day with Curse of Osiris, right? So we had 35,892. Currently, the game is at 34,794. Now you might be thinking, yes, of course, it was dead then. It's dead now. Not really. It still has overall probably around 100,000 players active daily from all platforms. And that still is very, very good. So I want to quickly show you guys, for example, the Division 2, which a lot of people compare to Destiny 2. Some people even like Division 2 more. So if we take a look at the Steam charts and we compare it to Destiny 2, you will see as I'm making this video, almost 1500 players playing and their 24 hour peak is around 3000 players. Here you guys see that Warframe is at almost 54,000 players. If you don't think that Division 2 would give anything for them to have 50,000 players right now, they would love to have those amount of players as Warframe does. And you have people out there that will tell you, oh, Warframe is a dead game. It's been out for whatever. And this is only on Steam charts. It's at 54,000 and its 24 hour peak is at 70,000. And if we're talking about the numbers, it's clear as day. The game is definitely not dead. But that said, guys, in my opinion, there's just way more than just numbers. And one of the biggest problems that this game has is innovation. We've been playing Destiny 2 for so many years and we've never actually had a new enemy faction. You can say that Scorn was one of the, you know, new enemy types, but that was back like a few years ago with Forsaken and since then we haven't really gotten any kind of new enemy faction. We get like some new enemies one by one with big expansions, but that's about it. We haven't really gotten any kind of new modes with the game. There has been literally no innovation. So in terms of like developing the game, adding something new, just trying to create something that will bring back the players and be like, oh shit, this is fresh. This feels good. That has not happened with the game for years and years and years. And you see a lot of games that struggle with this. You see Diablo 4, which I have over 500 hours in when it first came out. I was having a great time. But then 
they changed so much shit like out of nowhere for no reason and it was horrible changes and the changes that they didn't make and actually were needed those never happened and I don't really understand what these companies are thinking. They're like, oh, you know what? We can do this or this or this and people will keep coming back. No, that's not the case anymore. People don't really come back all the time. Or if they do, they will come back. They will try it again for just a little bit and they'll, oh, it's still garbage and they're going to bounce because as time goes on, there's more and more decent games coming out. that are better than these AAA companies that are putting out just garbage all over the place. And that's really what it is. You don't feel with these AAA games that there's any more passion or love behind the games which overall really does hurt the games but i don't think they care about it anymore you have a group of people in the destiny 2 community and i believe there's there's a group of people like this in any gaming community to be honest where they will defend the game no matter what happens they are defending their newborn their baby they just saw their baby for the first time and out of nowhere they hear this group of vikings rushing their family and they go into this defensive mode full-on beast mode they will die for their child but in this case the child is destiny 2 or Diablo 4 or whatever the game is it's almost like they share the bloodline with the creator of the game or should I say the shareholders of the game they don't know it but they feel it the blood calls for them to defend a product that honestly doesn't give a shit about them they will watch this video and they'll call me a hater and all you do is complain and you hate the game and you've always said what was wrong with the game all the time and that's why the game is the way it is because you're spreading the word guys no that's just simply not true let me explain why if a game is fun if it's really fun in terms of just how it feels how it plays and it's a just overall mind-blowing experience i can make 473 videos about how it sucks but none of you guys are gonna care because guess what it's actually fun look at pal world for example right that game is fun like there can be huge drama behind it overall do you really think anybody gives a shit no they don't and the reason for that is simple the game is freaking fun they did a great job they came up with some cool stuff and yes some of that obviously were not just their original ideas or whatever but they combined different aspects of games and they created something really really cool and because it's fun you have millions of people playing it and no matter what people will keep playing it as long as it's actually fun to play that's how it works so all these people like blaming this video or that guy or i've had people hop into my streams when i was helping people in trials of osiris and when i would complain about some broken mechanic in pvp which we're gonna discuss here in a minute they'd be like you know what man you're always complaining whatever whatever and i was like bro just go watch somebody else if you don't want to hear the truth about the state of the game and back then by the way when i was saying those things the game game was still doing good but I could see it I knew what would happen if we just stayed on the same path and here we are today with lower numbers than Chris of Osiris today and that's not a good thing and yes as mentioned it's still doing pretty good it's definitely not dead but the trend of it going down is not a good thing guys newsflash these companies don't give a shit about us none of us not you not me all they care about is the money they make and as long as those people that defend them no matter what keep buying ornaments and supporting the game and making them and make them millions of dollars of income just from skins and ornaments while they're not even bringing in any kind of content they're not gonna make anything new because the income is there. And that brings us to that topic that I was just talking about, which is the huge issue that they're having at the moment, is that they had to delay the season to seven months. We've never had the season this long, bro. Usually it's like three month seasons, and even then they're so dry that people usually just play for a few weeks and then they just log in once a week. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. You don't have to play a game 24 seven, but think about it. If you take content that was supposed to be three months and you turn it into seven month, obviously it's not gonna be a good thing because now there's less and less and less to do. So the fall off 
is going to be higher and higher and higher and the average player rate is going to drop even more and yes there's going to be something during the seven months in between but we all know it's not going to be anything crazy we do have the final shape it's going to be the final expansion that the game is going to have and then a lot of people think oh you know what they're going to drop final shape and they're going to support the game for the next 37 years no guys that's not going to be the case final shape in my opinion is going to be pretty good because they need to make money with the and go out with a bang right it's not about how innovative it's going to be. I still don't think that Final Shape is going to bring something that will kind of be like, oh my God, I've never done this in Destiny 2. It's not going to be the case. It's going to be a good expansion. It's going to be super fun for a month, probably. And then we're going to go into the same circle of doing the same activities. And that's what is killing the game. And it's not like when they added Strand, for example, or even Stasis back in the time, they don't break the game. Bro, PvP has been unplayable. At this point, it's not even PvP. It's not player versus player. It's really not. It's player versus cockroaches. That That's literally what it is. Have you guys even seen the strand meta? This is what you can do as a player in PvP. Everybody loves Destiny 2 gunplay, correct? Everybody absolutely loves it. We all talk about it, how good it feels. The guns feel amazing, look amazing. Where is the goddamn gunplay, bro? I'm literally shooting green cockroaches that are running at me 24-7. You know what? If I want to fight cockroaches, I will fucking call Asmongold and go to his house and we will go to war with the cockroaches that he has in his room if i want to do that that's probably way more fun than doing this and fighting unlimited amount of these green cockroaches that are rushing me 24 7 killing me without me even seeing the enemy player and that's just how it is and this is not coming from somebody that hasn't played the pvp at all i used to be top 500 in trials of osiris i played the shit out of this game and i helped hundreds if not thousands of people get flawless in trials of osiris that's the reality of it all oh and another thing is when i point out the fact that the meta in pvp please listen to what i'm gonna say has not changed for years it's, it's not like the meta stayed for example for a month or even a season which is supposed to be three months but currently seven months it's not even that they don't shift the meta at all we're talking at all we have been in the smg meta for years nobody likes this anymore and even if people liked it at the beginning it gets boring nobody wants to play the same shit 24 7 you look at all the other games they at least at the very least shift the meta from season to season but to have the same meta for years man that is literally killing your own game in a way because no matter what human nature is to get bored while doing the same shit over and over and over and over again non-stop especially when that's something that you keep doing non-stop is so frustrating because the problem is destiny 2 has so many cool builds so many cool weapons in it but when you're forced to play one thing because if you don't you'll absolutely get shit on it's not fun anymore anyway that's too much of a rant I'm, I'm now now i'm getting a little bit pissed off you know and a lot of people think that oh you complain this much because you hate the game no i love the game this game has literally changed my life okay this is what i do for a living i make content for destiny 2 i stream destiny 2 and i have an absolutely beautiful community of people that support me and my family and i will forever be grateful for that forever but to not point out the problems that is in the game in my opinion is me betraying the community that i have i should always be speaking the truth i should tell you guys guys this is not good what they're doing is wrong this has to change and if people get mad at me for that so be it at least i'm gonna be loyal to my community and i will always keep my word that i gave you guys with the first video that i ever created on this channel which is i promise you to always give you my honest opinions on the game no matter what yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to say with this video so let me know what do you guys think in the comment section below looking at the numbers do you feel like the game is dead do you feel like the game is doing well are your friends still playing the game i have like 10 pages of people that used to play and now I have maybe two people playing the game. I would love to hear your opinions on this. And uh, yeah, let's discuss it in the comment section. Let's keep it civil. We're all grown ups here. Thank you once again for all the love and support. I appreciate every single one of you. As always, stay positive, stay disciplined, and I'll see you on the next one. I mean, we literally have the best community of all time. 
got no scopes. 